Today we're going to install the latest version of, of Ubuntu on a Windows machine. The uh, latest version is Ubuntu 20.04 and we can go to the Ubuntu website to get it. Now to install this we're going to download it and then burn it on a DVD. If you need an older version of the software you can follow this link that we're pointing to here. But we're going to install the latest ones. We're going to go ahead and download it. There are other ways to install Ubuntu. One way is to uh, get the ISO which we're downloading here and put it on the flash drive. But we've got a lot of DVDs hanging around here so we're going to go ahead and burn a DVD. So go ahead and download this. It'll take a while. Sit back and relax and let that download. If you've never used Linux before it's the perfect operating system if you're developing or tinkering with electronics. It's got just about every tool that you can imagine. And if you are using Linux before and you haven't used Ubuntu, Ubuntu is really easy to use. There isn't uh, a lot of configuration to do when you set up. So if you just want to install Linux quickly and get all the tools and not have to worry about a lot of configuration, Ubuntu is the way to go. All right, we're just about done downloading here. So after the ISO is downloaded, the next step will be to burn a DVD. So here's the file that we downloaded, the ISO. And if you're using Windows, it's easy to burn a DVD. You simply right click on that ISO and it'll give you um, a menu option to burn the DVD. So we'll burn the DVD, verify it afterwards. We'll go ahead and speed up this process. Burn the DVD will take approximately 10 to 15 minutes. And that includes the time to verify what's been burned. So after it's done, you can go ahead and examine what's been burned to the DVD. What you're seeing here are all the files necessary to boot to Linux and install it. Now that that's done, the next step is to restart your computer and enter the BIOS. Now we're using a Dell, so to enter the BIOS we would hit F2. It'll be different based on your manufacturer. So once you do enter the BIOS, you'll see a screen probably similar to this one. And you need to change the boot sequence so the DVD drive comes first. So modify that, hit apply. So once you've modified the BIOS to start from the DVD drive, go ahead and restart the computer again. And it will start from the DVD and initiate the Linux installation. One of the first things that will happen is the Linux installation will uh, check the disk. And this will take quite a while. So keep that in mind when you're doing the installation. We've sped it up significantly here. So after that's done, it'll come up with a friendly screen and start the actual installation process. Now with this DVD, you can actually try Ubuntu without actually installing it. And you would select that on the left. But today we're going to actually install the operating system. So we're going to click on the install Ubuntu icon and then click next. And go ahead and make the correct choices for this and hit continue. And here's the choice to install Linux. You can see that they're going to give more than one option. What we're interested in is the normal installation. Now what we're going to do is install Ubuntu along Windows 10. If you don't want Windows on here on your uh, hard drive anymore, you can go ahead and just wipe it out. But we're going to go ahead and do a side-by-side -side installation and we'll show you later on how to um, choose whether or not you want to boot Ubuntu or Windows. So this is going to give you some, it just wants additional confirmation. Go ahead and click installation. Click to continue. Okay, just a few more questions. Number one, it'll ask you what time zone you're in. Go ahead and choose that. Give it a username and password. Now remember this, you'll need it to log in. We'll go ahead and select require user to log in each time. Click continue and the installation will start. 
So the in installation will take a long time. We've sped it up in this video. But we'll go ahead and show you what happens during the installation in case you are curious. It'll give you some help tips about Ubuntu. And if you really need to know, it'll also document what it is installing during the installation. Okay, installation is now complete. Go ahead and click to restart. When it starts back up, it'll let you know that you need to remove the installation medium, which is in this case the DVD. Go ahead and remove that and then hit enter again. And once you get that done, it'll start up and give you a screen to choose what operating system you want to load. And this is part of the dual boot that you selected. Ubuntu is the default choice. So you can either hit enter or just wait for it to load automatically. And after it boots up, it's going to ask you to log in. At this point, your installation is complete. Ubuntu will ask you a few questions about user preferences. We've got several Linux videos coming up about how to configure your Linux system, getting the most out of it. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Thanks for watching.